Anthony Dominic Benedetto, known professionally as Tony Bennett, was an American singer. Bennett amassed many accolades throughout his career, including 20 Grammy Awards, a Lifetime Achievement Award, and two Primetime Emmy Awards. His personal life was far more rough, with the singer going through multiple failed marriages, explosive allegations of infidelity, and scandalous affairs with women who were decades younger than him. Tony Bennett famously crooned that he left his heart in San Francisco, but in reality, the legendary musician actually handed his heart over to several women throughout his life on his quest to find a love that was as epic as the romances he sang about. Tony Bennett married Patricia Beach, and they welcomed two sons into their family. However, as his fame grew, so did the temptations of the entertainment world. Tony's marriage faced significant challenges as rumors of extramarital affairs began to surface. Paparazzi caught glimpses of Tony with various women, raising questions about the state of his marriage. Tony was in for a shock when his career suddenly plummeted amid the introduction of the Beatles in America and the public's dwindling interest in jazz music. As he struggled to come to grips with the realization that people didn't want to hear his music anymore, he turned to drugs and alcohol, developing a severe cocaine addiction that nearly took his life. But Sandra stuck by his side through his rampant partying and almost fatal drug use, but the two ended up going their separate ways years later. It's unclear what led to the split, but one thing that is clear is that it didn't end amicably because she later branded the star 92-year-old crooner as a drug-dazed old fool who was very different from the Mr. Nice Guy that the public perceives him to be. Tony Bennett has been haunted by the same rumors of mob connections that surrounded his fellow Italian-American crooner, Frank Sinatra. David Evanier claimed that Bennett's early career was given a boost by the mob figures that owned the nightclubs in New York. Evanier wrote that although the singer didn't want to get mixed up in that world, Bennett was not Snow White, but no one is. Tony Bennett went through his darkest period in the 70s when he lost his record contract and racked up $1.2 million in debt and back taxes. The singer described those years as a tortuous period of suffering. After his beloved mother died in 1977, Bennett's grief pushed him to turn more and more recklessly to drugs for relief. His addiction reached a breaking point in 1979 after a near-fatal cocaine overdose. Tony Bennett and his family revealed that he had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2021. Bennett died in New York City on Friday, July 21, 2023, at the age of 96. His death was announced by his publicist.